Look into the closet. Full top to bottom with dry goods. Some odd ones, but we consume odd things, which don't reveal their full lunacy until together in a full case of, say, barbecue Pringles or cheesecake. A case of mini cheesecake for a year. Look around the community. The barge comes in. Sugar! People unload their food in cases. Sugar! Boxes and fill their cellars or closets more likely. Once a year the barge comes through and hauls whatever is needed for the whole group and indeed it is the only way which one can afford. Once winter hits there is only the supermarket which flies food in and adds the price as if each avocado had a seat and now is eight zero dollars. This is the cost of food. Imagine a world where our ocean and overland haulage cost the equivalent of airmail where fuel adds up the price. Then you would see households storing up an entire year's worth of food and organizing the shipping. The fuel sugar. comes in on the barge as well for the year and enables the sugar. community to have heat and light. One cannot avoid knowing that everything is scarce and everything comes from far, far away. One eats with the taste of the distance. Here, with measured space between that which sustains the community, in such close proximity to what used to, one can feel how far away sustainability is and how skill-less and resourceless we learn to become in urban life. The same resources change and no longer sustain us. We need the barge and in a pinch, the plane. We cannot imagine a life without them and if we can, we lack the skills to accomplish it. Sitting up here, I think that this community, in the way that it sustains itself, is so very similar to any large city, there is just not the perspective to see it. All the food and fuel, traveling so far, seemingly infinite, but definitely finite. Up here, if there is a storm, there is no plane. The barge waits for the melting ice in summer. I wonder how secure our food and energy systems are. What kind of storm it would take to leave us stranded.